Hey guys, I'm going to give you a brief, well not very brief, it's going to probably be like two and a half minutes, but oh well, you're going to enjoy it. Um, there was a girl named Rachel Scott, and she went to Columbine High School, and for those of you who don't know what Columbine is, it was the biggest school shooting in U.S. history. Thirteen died, and two killed themselves, the shooters themselves. Um, Rachel Scott was the first shot and killed. Um, she was sitting outside with her friend and eating lunch. And Rachel was very special. She didn't pick on anybody. She stood up for a guy um, who had mental and physical disabilities. Um, she basically saved lives. She didn't realize it, but she did. Um, the boy that she helped protect, um, he was debating on suicide that night. He got bullied a lot, and he just he didn't think his life was worth living. And when Rachel stood up for him, he saw that somebody cared. That someone cared if he lived or died. And he didn't commit suicide. But Rachel was a very special. Other than that, she wasn't just a good friend. She all through her life, she said she wanted to make an impact on the world, make a big thing. And her death has brought over two, almost two million people, not two million, but like a lot of people. I know it's like in the thousands, hundred thousand, maybe even millions, but people, at least one person has been changed by Rachel's story. See, before she was killed, she drew a picture of her eyes and it, she was crying onto this rose and her teardrops, once they hit the rose, turned into blood. Now, remember, 13 people at Columbine died. Right before Rachel was killed, she drew this picture. The teardrops that were coming from her eyes, there were 13 teardrops. Okay, isn't that cool? 13. And you can actually go online at www.rachelschallenge.com and you can see the actual picture that she drew. And it's amazing because she's so artistic as well. And... She did a lot of stuff to help people. She um, she uh, actually helped a new girl out who was sitting alone at lunch. Now, this I was a new girl at one point in time, too. It really hurt being alone and then having someone walk up to you and be like, Oh, hi, I'm so-and-so. Do you want to sit with us? That really changed me. Now, I'm not going to give you any more instructions on this. I just kind of wanted to introduce you to Rachel, Rachel Scott. I'm in the Rachel Friends of Rachel Club at my high school, at my uh, at my school, <laughs> um, and it's an amazing group. It's awesome, um, and I'd really like it if you could tell your teachers, your principal, even your friends about Rachel. Just go online, hear her story, and be inspired. I guess that's all I can really say. Have fun. Eat Oreos!